Welcome to day 23 of my A4 Advent calendar. In this series of videos I show you in 24 days how to program the A4 APIP microcontrollers. And today I want to show you how to get something like an analog output pin on the AppMega AD API microcontroller. So today I want to show you how to use the Pulse Width modulation or short PWM on our AppMega AD API microcontroller. So let's take a brief look at the datasheet. So we have up to six PWM channels. So we have six pins we can use for PWM mode. And the PWM mode is tied to the timers and counters of my AppMega microcontroller. So I have two 8-bit timers and one 60-bit timers, but for the PWM I will use a 60-bit timer. And the goal for today is I want to control the brightness of an LED um, over the PWM. And when I take a look at the pinout of the AppMega AD App microcontroller, I can see we have some timer PVM pins, which are labeled OC2B, OC0B, OC0A, and here we have three additional pins. And if you remember my video from yesterday, where we talked about the timers and the compare to counter mode, we had this output compare registers and basically we can use or we can automatically set or reset um, one of these pins for, for example this pin here if timer zero reached the value of the output compare register a then this pin will be set or cleared and then if the timer reaches the value of output compare um, output compare register 0b, then this pin will be set or reset. This is how the PVM works. So let's see in the datasheet how it is implemented. So here we have the chapter of the timer counter 0, which I'll use for this purpose. And let's jump to the register description. So these two bits here and one bit in the timer counter control register b selects the mode of the timer we will use. And here is a table. Last time we have used this compare to counter mode, but today we will use this PWM phase correct mode here. So I will have to set the WGM00 bit here to set the PVM mode. And then we have these two bits here. One bit for um, output compare B and one for output compare A. I will use the, this pin here, so output compare 0 A. So I have to um, choose on which operation um, the output compare zero A output should be toggled or set or yeah what to do with it. And we have four modes. So in normal operation mode, this pin is not connected and it doesn't affect um, the pin. You can use the pin as a normal GPIO pin. So if we are writing a one to this bit field. Um, the OC0A pin will be toggled on a compare match. This is not what I want. I want this here clear um, OC0A pin on compare match. So I will have to set this COM0A1 um, bit here. Then in the timer counter control register B, I will only set a prescaler here with these three bits here. And I want to use a prescaler of um, 1024, which gives us a PVM frequency of about 15.5 kilohertz. And that's almost it. So here we can see the prescaler and I will set CS02 and CS00. So I will get the prescaler of 1024. Then we have the current state of the timer here on this APIT register. And here in the output comparators register A, I have to write a value. So for example, if I want um, a PVM value, I want the pin to be always off, I have to write a zero into this register. If I want this the um, pin to be always on, I have to write 255 into this register. And if I want to have a pulse width of 50%, I have to write 128 into this register. So this is how it works, but we will see this later. So what I'm going to do is now I will write a small program to set this LED with variable um, brightnesses 
and I will also connect a logic analyzer so we can see later how the pulse width modulation looks like. So now let me cd into my A4 advanced calendars folder and I will use um, this folder here as a template for today's video. And I will create a new folder I will call 32pwm. So let me cd into it and first I will change a little bit in the make file. So our frequency is 20 MHz because we have a 20 MHz oscillator here and the target name should be PWM. So in the main function I will delete some stuff we won't need. But I will need a, a variable here. So in it the IOs for the LED, we just have one LED. And I have connected the LED here to this pin, which is port D, pin 6. So to the data direction register of port D, I have to write a 1 shifted by PD6. Okay, and then I can set up the timer for PVM. Therefore, I have to write to the timer counter control register 0A, a 1 shifted by COM 0A1 to get a toggle when the timer counter match the output compare register and to clear this bit on this event. And then I have to set the PVM mode by setting the WGM00 bit here. Yeah. And in the timer counter control register 0B, I will set the prescaler to um, 1024. And I can do this by setting the CS00 and CS02 bit here. Okay, and now here, down in the main function, or in the endless loop here, I will do the following. So I will write to the output compare register 0A, a 0 to it. This means um, the LED will be always off. And then I will use delay milliseconds. Let's do this, yeah, 100 milliseconds. Then I will set it to 25% and 25% means oh, about 8, yeah, 64. It should be 64. Okay. Then I will set it to 50%, which is 228. Then I will set it to 75% pulse width, which is um, 172, I think. No, 92. Okay. And then I will set it to 100% pulse width with 255. Okay, so let me build this program and now I will try to flash it. Okay, so I will give it my password. Okay, now we can see the, the brightness is increasing slowly, but to get a better um, if you will connect my logic analyzer here to it and we will take a look at it. So give me a second. Okay, so you can see here I've connected the probes here to the LED and to ground. And here I have pulse view open. I've connected my logic analyzer to it. So let's do this. So let's record the stream. And here we can see the pulses. So one pulse width. So from here to here. Yeah, this should be, okay, this is our frequency, which is about um, 13, well, yeah, only, okay, this is only 14 hertz here, but never mind. And we can see here, we have an on time of, this should be of um, about 25%, and then here we have 50%, so yeah, this are, 707 milliseconds and the whole thing are, oh no, these are 26 milliseconds and this here are 30 milliseconds, so this is a pulse width of 50%. Then here we have the pulse width of um, 75% and here we have a pulse width of 100%. So this is how a PWM looks like. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. Thanks for watching and goodbye.